Yo, what's up? Welcome back to Alpha Central, I'm your host Jack, and today we're taking a look at when wives have meltdowns after getting caught cheating. But it's an hour long special, so let's jump right in, right after you subscribe, of course. Disclaimer, this video was made for strictly comedic slash artistic purposes. No offense is intended towards any individual featured in this video. You guys together? Yeah. You guys are a beautiful couple, how long have you guys been together? Uh, like, three weeks. Three weeks? <laughs> three weeks? Yeah, we so are you guys been. loyal to each other or not yet? Yeah, you guys mind doing a loyalty today, like switch phones? I'm not trying to be on YouTube. Really? <laughs> so you think like, hey, you know, like why are y'all separating? Damn. Alright, hey, you guys have a good one, okay? Nah, something's not adding up right now. Why are they so quick to leave? What is your body count? It's Go ahead. two. Probably like 13. I got one more question. Did y'all kiss me on the cheeks? I mean, yeah. Hey, babe. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, man. Is this serious? Me personally, I wouldn't take this level of disrespect. Wow, right in front of her boyfriend? This is just so cruel. Never, never cheated in a relationship? Listen. I will never do that. Yes, but I was so emotionally detached. Not a proud moment. Broke up with him a week later. So why did you cheat? It was one-sided, you know? Like, I would almost try and like start fights yeah. to try and get a reaction for him to defend himself. Never would. I was like, okay, can't over this. Don't but worry. you know what? I guess everything comes shit. back to you because then I got cheated on by my new boyfriend. Don't worry. I don't know. I, I got cheated on and then um, I'm banned from the bar now, so yeah. Cheating to get back at someone or for some type of reaction is one of the evilest things you can do. Use your words before breaking someone's heart. Come on now. Happy Valentine's to all of you guys. Yeah. Happy mother Valentine's Day. It's not like I just caught my girl with another dude in my own room in my bed. You know, happy Valentine's Day, guys. Hope you have a She's just making it way worse. Why is she destroying everything after she was the one who got caught? He said you said something different before. You said that you're seeing a guy. Yeah. And that you told him that you're coming here and he's okay with it. Yeah? Because I'm doing nothing. You grinded to the guy's and it's okay. I was dancing. You were dancing. Bad, like dancing. So if you're in a relationship, you'll still dance with other guys? No. But well, you did it the other day. If I'm not in a relationship, I just dance. No, but you're seeing a guy. You said you're seeing a guy. Uh, yeah, I'm seeing that's the problem with this generation. That's the problem. Right. It's not serious. No, not now. Would you tell him that you grinded someone else? Babe, see, if he's asking me, what did you do? I dance? Did she call that dancing? If that's dancing, then I don't think I would trust any woman who says she's going dancing in a club. That gives you the best told you to come over tonight. He gonna give you some money and everything. But it's a 65% chance his girl might come home and she can fight. Are you still going or no? I'm risking it hopping out the window. I'm going. I'm from Philly, you know I'm flying. I'm still going. I'm flying there. First of all, I'm going because I know how to fight too. What are you talking about? I know how to fight too, I'm going. I'm going to go because I know how to fight too. I'm going to worry about that. I'm hitting that my car. How much money? Well, I've been in that predicament already. I'm going to go. Oh, oh, 2500 2500 I'm taking that risk and I'm going to box it up. <laughs> Going for the money. How oh, would I stay home? I'm dear. Like what? <laughs> Where the money at? I'm gonna go beat that up and take his money. I'm gonna go inbox to the. It's still in the back. Come on, they are really willing to risk it all for money and a man. Says a lot about their morality. So like two days ago, I got arrested by my ex-boyfriend because I was banging on his window because he got mad about me sleeping with some other guy. She belongs to the streets. Either way. He got me arrested, I was handcuffed, and I was so sad, and I was so mad, but I still banged on his window. The guy that handcuffed me, he was super cute, and I was like, hey. Not only did she cheat, but acted like a psychopath afterwards. She is definitely for the streets. And then, uh, what's your relationship? I'm in a situation here. Wow. Really? Um, How's that going for you? It's like really a partnership. <laughs> so he thinks he's in a relationship with me, but I'm single. Wait, does he know this? Sounds yeah. a little like me. <laughs> Where's little sound wait, 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 wait. Oh, so, let me get this straight. So he wants you, but you don't want him? Yeah. So why do you string him along? Because he financed my life. Oh, oh yeah. So yeah. there's a reason behind the madness. Yeah. Makes sense. She's literally just stringing him along like a puppet, and he has no idea. It's a cruel world we live in. You guys dating? Yeah. Is Taylor Swift hot? Um, not my kind of girl. Are, are you saying that because your girlfriend's right here? Could be, could not be, but no, no. We'll just say that. Would you Taylor Swift? No. Would you Travis Kelsey? Yes. 
When did it become normal to admit you would cheat on your boyfriend? What's a society? Cheating is such a fantasy. Oh, it's, it's even better when they're married, huh? <laughs> This woman must be the Antichrist, because why would you want to ruin a happy man's relationship as well as her own? How long y'all been together? Shit. Just a couple of months. Couple ain't months. Been long. Yeah. So is the trust there? Yeah. Yeah. I'll be down to switch phones for 30 oh, seconds shit. each. No. Since you go through her phone and she go through yours. No, for 30 I, seconds. Can't, I catch everything yeah. she got. Like, look, look. I catch, on, I catch her on a daily basis. So you're not down to switch phones? No. Well, she Why not? Mine. She can take mine, but she ain't gonna... Ain't Why gonna don't you want to switch phones? Because... Because what? We have because to she got them Look, well, she got a roster. No, we have to trust each other. You got a roster? Look, look, yeah, no. Bro, she got a roster, bro. Look, that's, what, that's the consequence of having a fine girl, is that they got a roster and she thinks she don't know. Like, I don't know. Like, I know. So you down to give her your phone? Yeah, yeah, she can get my... And you, but you won't give him yours. And no. It's an evil world we live in. And the crazy thing about this situation is that he already knew this. It's good to see him not depressed over this. A lot of women, when they're doing stuff behind your back, they start trying to accuse you for it because their conscience is eating them up. So if you're dealing with a girl and she just all of a sudden starts accusing you of stuff, who were you with last night? What are you doing? You're like, where is all this coming from? Your behavior hasn't changed. It's because she's cheating, bro. She starts to accuse you of cheating because that's what she's doing. So she's thinking you're doing the same thing. You got a girl you're dealing with, a girl you're talking to, and you just notice her start accusing you here and there of doing this and that. It's because she's doing it, bro, and she's projecting that on you. Notice that right there and dump her. Don't wait for it to be in your face. If a girl starts accusing you of cheating randomly like that, all for no reason, be like, hey, baby, it's time for us to end this because she is cheating on you. Someone who projects their own problems onto other people are the worst. You'd rather be married to me or be a hoe for the rest of your existence. Baby, married to you. I'll be in a hoe. I'll, I'll be outside. I'll be in the street. Give me a hoe. I'm already a hoe. Well, enjoy your stay on the street. Jeez. More fun to hang with your main guy or your side guy. There's always a side nigga. Why you like having a side nigga? My side guy. Side nigga, please. I don't have a side nigga. Side nigga. I'ma say the side nigga. The side guy for sure. Only because he f better than the main nigga. But we keep the main for stability. Side guy, for sure. Definitely the side nigga. Okay, I feel comfortable with my main nigga. He's gonna make sure I'm okay. But that side nigga blow my motherfucking back. I hope their man sees this video because they are really testing the waters here. Dad, look, look what I caught mom with. Crack, take Chris again. Told you this mother comes around your dog. Crack of Chris. No, I told oh, you. Crack of Chris. <laughs> mom, you buddy. I'm telling dad. Dad's gonna be pissed. Crackhead Chris? She cheated with this guy so many times that he has his own nickname? I like him and then having time to other guys. You guys. Yeah, I do. Right. So, in other words, you don't have a boyfriend. Yeah. No, you don't. Wait, you have multiple. Hold on. A whole husband. You have multiple guys. I have multiple relationships. How many are we talking here? Two. Well, and then there's people I. But. For work or for. Usually for work. Doesn't seem like she's in any serious relationship because if it is serious, she wouldn't be messing around with multiple guys. Are you more loyal to your friends or the man that you're with? I feel like that's a complex question, but. To give a simple answer, if me and the dude are an established, committed relationship, probably my man, for sure. But if it's not that, then my friends. Okay. Hmm, okay then. Good luck finding yourself a new partner then. What is your most toxic trait? When I'm dating somebody and I could sense that I'm not really into them, I'm gonna give us some time to figure it out. And by that time, I may or may not be talking to somebody else. It's just getting prepared to move on, you know? Have an option? Oh, dang. That is messed up. It's an evil world we live in. Women will always have a backup plan, even in a committed relationship. They will always know who's next. How old are you? 26. 22. How long you been together? Two, Two years. years. If she gave you a guilt-free pass to sleep with anybody, would you take it? No, sir. <laughs> you, you, only, you might get one pass, but at the end of the day, you want one wife. And this is the wife I want. So, no. Okay. Now, what about you if he gave you one? If you gave me a guilt treat pass, I would take it. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Sorry. <laughs> That's crazy. Who would you take it with? Um, 
Lindy Waters the third? Don't even know who that is. That's our problem. <laughs> yep. Yep. Who else? Um, Barry Sanders. I'm in love with him. Now, what do you think those men have over your men? Uh, they're professional athletes. That's crazy. <laughs> hey, black or white? One is Native American and one's black. But do you think that any of those guys would go for you? Uh, Junior would. That's crazy. <laughs> hey, at the end of the day, it's whatever. <laughs> whatever, at the end of the day, I don't care. Well, we clearly know one of these two is loyal, while the other isn't. What is one thing that you've never told your ex? I cheated on him with his sister. How did that happen? Um, I took her on a trip, and we were in bed together, and it just happened. Drunk. She was the best looking one out of the whole entire family, so. Did you go on a family trip with them? No, 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 I took her on a trip. Oh, just like me and her. Separate. Yeah. How did he feel about you guys going on a trip? Did he ever suspect anything? He never uh, thought anything of it, but it was always just me and her, not me and him. I never took him on trips, just her. Did you and her like have some type of chemistry, or who like initiated the it was like just drunk, fooling around, joking around in the bed, and then it just kind of happened. Is she a better than your man was at the time? Yeah. Really? Yeah. And I'm he, sorry. <laughs> he doesn't know about this at all. He probably does now. Now he'll see it. Yeah. yeah. But after it happened, were you guys like weird about it mm -hmm. around him? Or no, it was hush hush. Hush hush. Yeah. Who was a better eater, your man or his sister? I don't know. I was eating. Not her. So you're the eater. I'm the eater. Eater and the cheater. Got it. To be honest, I'm not too sure who I'd be more mad at. The girlfriend that cheated on her boyfriend with his own family? Or the sister that betrayed her own blood? This is truly sad. What secret you never told your ex? I a lot of his friends. Sorry. Yeah. Any of his friends that you I was cheating on him. I cheated on you. How many songs? Oh. Like 17. I cheated. <laughs> But I cheated on him. There's one secret you never told your ex. Um, my teammate. What is one secret you never told your ex? That I cheated like a little a bit of time. Do you have some? I mean, I cheated all the time. <laughs> How many times is all the time? Like, realistically. Every time I got the chance. Unfortunately, nothing new. Some of these modern women feel no shame about cheating on their boyfriends, as if it's the most normal thing in the world. It goes down at the bachelorette party. I actually went to like a club that had like gave me a lap dance pretty much and it was great. You cheated on your husband at your bachelorette party? No, he wasn't my husband. If you have a ring on your finger, then you don't do nothing. I really hope her husband caught wind of this video because she has a lot of explaining to do. What's your name? Kenesha. And your name? Cal. Would you rather him cheat on you with someone better and better looking or someone worse and uglier than you are? I guess worse. <laughs> Why worse? I don't know. I don't know. I could, that's just what I prefer. <laughs> Same question. Neither. Yeah, neither. No cheating. You with me for life. That's it. It's a wrap. Yeah, it's a wrap. It was at this moment that she knew. She fucked up. Yup, neither is the right answer. The fact she even gave her answer shows something about her loyalty. Would you guys cheat for a hundred dollars? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. A hundred dollars is a hundred dollars? Yeah. You have a boyfriend. No, no. Okay, Kevin, fucking. Oh, okay, $100. I'm about to get $100 right now. Catherine, we need this money. Real? Brennan, Brennan, Brennan. You want to cheat with her right now? What? You want to oh. cheat with her? Run a receipt with her? Uh, get the uh, f with me, bitch. Get the f uh, okay. answer is yes. No amount of money can buy a cheating pass, but $100 is so low. You gotta question what they're doing. You need to leave. <laughs> Did that video just give her trust issues? Well, I can't blame her that much because all these videos are doing the exact same thing to me. Any chance that anybody other than these two guys are a father? No. Do oh, either yeah. one of you want to be the father? No, man. Hell no, I ain't gonna hey, be you. <laughs> Marvin took a DNA test, and the results of that DNA test, Marvin, is that you are not the father of Kiora's two month old son. I knew it. I knew oh, no. I was <laughs> Michael, you came here and took a DNA test, and the results for your DNA test is that you are not the father of
Nice. That's all I wanted to find out. I'm good. I knew it, bro. Gucci. I said it. I said it. None of them are the father? Holy crap. I bet these two men are getting a drink afterwards. How long have y'all been together? 20 years. 20 years. Hey, do y'all trust each other 100%? Yes. Yes. May we test it there? No. Oh, no. <laughs> y'all two swap phones. Okay. Swap phones? Go through a uh, snapshot. Oh, he doesn't do it. I, I have know, it. I don't have to Can we go through your stuff? Sure. Yeah. Who is has? That is my daughter's friend. Can we go through a chat? 36 Day Street. Oh, come on. I can see that. The tongue emoji. Oh, well, that was an accident. <laughs> How was it an accident? How's that an accident? Because it was right next to my other emoji. Who is Brayden? My son's friend. Can we go through a chat? My daughter. 190 Day Street. What? Honey, honey, 90 day street. That is correct. That's no, this is this is these are. Whoa, whoa, hard eyes. You sent hard eyes to your son's best friend. It was. I don't even know what it was. <laughs> you don't know. I don't know. It was some picture he sent. Why are you? Why are you swiping out of it? I All see right. you. Huh? <laughs> good talk, man. You guys have a good. Okay, good luck. We're, we're, we're going home. We're going home, man. Huh? We're, we're going home. You guys have a good night. Yeah, right off the bat, I could tell these two were not committed to each other. Why in the hell do women don't want the men to cheat, but they'll go to work and oh, cheat with their co-workers? First of all, a That's work what I'm husband... Talking about. They <laughs> will. They you, your work husband covering your break... Yo, is, your, is, your, is having a work husband cheating yes. per se? Or, yes. excuse me, one second, uh-uh, wasn't done. Or is that just men protecting women, right? Like, when I come... <laughs> To work, Peter. <laughs> Peter. When I come to work, you know, you make sure my my salmon is 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 in already in the microwave. That was sweet. Or you told me about the <laughs> about to get fired. You told me it wasn't me. Thank you, <laughs> Rodney. It doesn't that necessarily mean I'm. You know, it's just no. This is not appropriate at all. Stay loyal to your own husband. Did you cheat on me? I was ovulating. You don't know women. You haven't grown up with women. My my body. I'm just listening to my body. We are chemically created i have this chemical thing in me where i have to reproduce my body i was just listening to my body you know um, i was at the club there was a man there cute couple drinks in i was like my body was like reproduce what are you talking so you're blaming science for you cheating yes on me. i had no control okay yeah you didn't have to go home with them you obviously don't understand what it's like being a woman like my body is chemically built so that i have to reproduce and i was just listening to my body while i was ovulating my body right. was screaming. Right, well, my ex were like, let me intertwine with his sperm. All right, fine. I cheated on you too. You know how it worked. What? I cheated on you too then. What the f? Your body's not built the same way. You're not. I didn't. You know, I just wanted to see what, how you like it. It sucks. Men suck. You guys oh are the God. worst. There's never an excuse to cheat. Never. Kiss me one time or pass the next person and double it. <laughs> I'm 55. I know, and I like that. That's my daughter. I would have guessed like 30. 30, like mid 30s, you know what I'm saying? I would have I guessed that. I would like to contact you on Gmail one day and like I could take you out somewhere special. You know what I'm saying? I'm like old enough to be your mother. I can call you mom, but you don't have to be my mother, you know what I'm saying? No, that's my daughter. That's your daughter? How old's your daughter? She's 19. Asking me if I have a Gmail. Hi, daughter. How are you? Hi. Good nice to meet you. I was like, oh my god, mom, that's the guy in they TikTok. They said I kissed you. I was like, I don't remember kissing I don't, you. I, did. I do now, but not before. Let me grab her Gmail. Okay, okay. I like your mom. Like, I, I would like to take oh. her out someday. I say, I'm serious. Yeah. Okay, I'll give you mine. Oh. You, oh. Okay. okay. She has a boyfriend and her eye. Uh, respect. Well, I, respect. I have a boyfriend too, but that don't mean. Because we met, right? We met, right? Because I don't know who you are. So. Right. I'll just like... <laughs> The video. Wow, is this guy a paleontologist? Because it seems like he's loving this old dinosaur. You're a couple? Yep. How long? A year. An amazing year? Yeah, I'd say so, right? I would say so too, yeah. So if you guys trust each other, would you guys mind putting that to the test and swapping phones and going through each other's phones in order to make sure that you are loyal to each other? Can you do that? No comment. Who do you think of that? I could. Okay, let's do it. All right, let's go through Jen's phone. All right, let's go through her phone first. Go through Snapchat. 30 messages. Bro, she's cheating, bro. Those are all guys. You're right. Not valid, not valid. 
30 messages. I can't even keep up with talking to five people at once. But 30? That was so awkward to see the two men arguing when the problem is right in front of them. I'm really a whore. Like, I'm a, like, with a, with a W. Like, I'm a whore. But define that, though. Like, I'm a whore. <laughs> what if Summer comes to you as pretty as she is and says, Mom, I want to be a city girl? She ain't gonna be no city girl. <laughs> so, S Summer ain't allowed to be no city girl? Mm-mm. No. I want her raised totally different. Like, you know, I don't even want her to eat a see the light of day like that. Like, I really want her to just be, like, you know, like, never headed a school girl and just on a whole nother way. It's like, you know, I kind of was raised different, so I don't want to raise her up how I was raised. So, you know, I'm a city girl. Ain't nothing wrong with it, but I don't want that for my daughter. The fact this is who young women praise these days makes me worried for the future. I found out he was cheating on me with my sister. With your sister? Mm hmm So I went to her, and I'm like, what's up, dude? Like, I thought we were better than this. She told me that she would stop talking to him and never did. And they kept sleeping with each other. And uh, he wrote your mom a, a very letter. explicit letter. He wrote her a letter saying, I want to, you know, you. Mm -hmm. Do you believe that your husband has slept with your mother? I do deeply think that my mom and my husband have slept <laughs> together. My mom has slept with my ex-boyfriend already, and that's why I feel like there is. Wait a second. Your mom slept with your ex-boyfriend? In 2014, I was locked up in Geneva. She did it to me once. Why couldn't she do it to me again? Yeah. I never met your mom, but I'm guessing, yeah, she did. Does any woman in her family have any loyalty? This is insane to hear and extremely disgusting. But you did sleep with one of your daughter's boyfriends. That was a long time ago. That's <laughs> my life. That was a long time ago. It was your ex. It was your ex. <laughs> they weren't married. Yeah, I mean, but so come on, mom. I mean, what mom sleeps with her daughter's ex-boyfriend? Good question. What mother does sleep with her daughter's boyfriend? It's clear she doesn't... I'm just watching. It doesn't seem like she wants to be exactly, with you. Exactly, Jerry. I don't even understand why we're here. It's she not even worth... It's not worth fighting over. I'm not gonna marry you. I'm gonna marry John. Every time he whoa, breaks whoa, up with you. Whoa, wait, wait. <laughs> I don't think John agreed to that arrangement. She might need to try with the other guy. Boyfriend, we were setting you up for a gold digger test. Okay. Are you serious right now? Okay. Are you, are you serious? Are you right being now? serious? Are you? I, I'm are you right here, right? Serious? Are you being serious right now? What, like, you were about to get in the car with me, and your boyfriend was supposed to meet. Four years, all it took was a Tesla. Four years, all it took was a Tesla. You don't have a Tesla. What do you? You were about to throw away everything we built in four years for a Tesla. You've been throwing it away when you weren't giving me nothing. Well, looks like she isn't going to be able to get out of this one. Are you loyal? Of course. Yes. Five phones right now. All right. All right, we're going through messages? Yeah. It's pretty normal. Pretty normal, you said? As yeah. expected. Wait, who's Adam? <laughs> You're friends with them, right? You're talking to my friends? Yeah. I mean... <laughs> Normal. Why didn't you talk to me about it first? I thought we were all friends. What do you guys talk about? Nothing. We're Bro. Just talking. Damn. We're just friends. We're all three friends. <laughs> Bro. Her face from the very beginning should have been a dead giveaway about what was about to happen. My kids look just like me. Black. <laughs> Real messed up here. The brown? sun came out looking, looking white with curly hair. So I'm like, okay, I ain't gonna say nothing, you know? Maybe the color ain't came in yet. He looked like me a little bit. <laughs> I asked her like, you sure you weren't cheating? Cause I was, I was accusing her of cheating the whole time she was out. She said she wasn't doing nothing. Three months passed, this baby's still white, you know? I feel so bad for him. He was just hoping for dear life that that child was his. But I think we all know what would happen in the end. On the beach is just wild. I bet she would have never relaxed with her actual husband just like she did with this man. From March to August. In that time span, I cheated on him with nine other dudes, which two of them lived in his area. 
I honestly feel sad when driving past his house. When I found out he was cheating, I cried so much. <laughs> I couldn't believe he would do something like that to me. But he still doesn't know I cheated on him. Wow. <laughs> I cried I so cried much. So much. <laughs> How dare you? Family. Oh, women are... Are you schizophrenic? <laughs> <laughs> Big man thing. Seriously? Nine other guys? And on top of that, she had the nerve to get upset when he did the same thing to her? He's claiming I slept with her man as if we even had time to sleep. Sis, your man is a beast. <gasps> Women don't fear it, God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's saying what we did, we didn't sleep with yeah, each other. Yeah, yeah, You can't say we slept together. No. That's, no, 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 that's no. That's what that, you man do. Yeah, that's what you man do what in your little... Did, we raised the roof. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Jeesh, now we got girls bragging to their own friends about cheating with their mans. What a cruel world. Today I'm calling my girlfriend's friends and asking if she's with them while she's out cheating on me to get their answers. First up, her best friend Michelle. Are you with McKinley? Because she said she like Ubered to you before. She's not answering her phone and her location's not on. Yeah, yeah, she's on her way. She left a while ago. No, I know, but there's a lot of traffic because I'm far. What do you guys... I'll call you in a second when she gets here. Okay, yeah, just have her call me. Stop here, Michelle. That's so funny. That's so funny. What do you mean? What are you talking about? She said she was yeah. with you. No, the f she's, yeah, wait. Maybe she's still on her way? Yeah. Do you think you could just tell her to like call me when she gets there? Yes. We had a plan today. You're gonna be with her? Yeah, she's on her way. We okay. had a plan to hang out today. All right, well, what are you guys doing today? We're gonna film some podcast clips. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm, seems like she has some pretty suspect friends. Advice, please. Me and my fiance have been together for 10 years. We've only ever had with each other and are getting married in four months. Eight weeks ago, my friends organized my hen do and we went out for bottomless brunch and then went nightclubbing after. At some point in the night, we got separated and I got talking to a very man at the bar. He noticed my ring and asked me when I was getting married. I told him in four months. He sweet talked me and said I needed one last ride <laughs> before I was tied up Fucking to my fiance forever. We ended up going into the men's toilet and having the best of my life and then just got dressed and walked out like nothing happened. I ended up finding the rest of the hen and going home to my fiance. We also had that night. I haven't felt guilty about the whole thing up until now. I found out I'm pregnant. My fiance was with me when I took the test and he is over the moon excited, <laughs> but I just feel a sense of dread. I was going to just pass the baby off as my husband, but my biggest issue is the man on my hen do was a very black man. Oh, what? And me and my fiance She's pale and He's ginger. What do I do? I don't want to get rid of this baby, but I have a 50-50 chance of being in the clear. Please help. Whoa. Women are trash. She needs to go watch Barbie, man. That kid gotta go. You can't not tell him because then he's in about a like, month's time, he's kid. gonna go. I wanna see my kid. And then when it pops out, oh, he's like, yeah. I ain't my kid. Now, this might be the craziest cheating story of all time. How does this even happen? My mom and my sister are done trying on swimsuits. We're heading to the checkout line. And my mind is just going a million miles an hour. I'm like, what the heck? This is so weird. So I start talking to my little sister and I'm like, does dad know about the tattoo? Does our little brother, does our older sister, like... Does everyone know about it? She's like, yeah, everyone knows, except for me. Now at this time in my mom's life, she was having several affairs on my father already that I knew about because my mom would talk to me about her affairs. So when I saw this tattoo, I assumed, oh, that must be for one of my mom's new boyfriends uh, because at that time she and my father were not really on talking terms. So <laughs> I knew it wasn't for my dad. The tattoo said, please love me forever. Can you say desperate? Why would she hide the tattoo away from her? Seems a bit weird. I think it was outlined with like a heart or maybe an infinity symbol. It was outlined, but it said, please love me forever. Literally only a few weeks later, and that is when I find out about the affair that my husband and my mom were having. The tattoo pops in my head and I'm like, oh, <laughs> that tattoo was for my husband, you when my husband finally confessed to the affair, admitted everything, I asked him, did my mom get that tattoo for you? He confirmed that she did. And it's so funny to me because now my dad took my mom back. They're still together. They're still married. And every time that my dad has to see her body, she's got that brand on her that she got for my husband. Another crappy thing is that when I still had a relationship with my mom, she and I got matching tattoos. I've been spending the last two years lasering that off. Laser tattoo removal hurts 
so much worse than getting a tattoo. Ooh, that's why. I'm married. That's what's relevant to me. That's what's relevant to you? Yeah. When did, when did you get married? Uh, approximately three and a half years ago, almost four years ago. What would you rate me on a scale from one to ten? Like hotness? Everything, overall. Can I get a kiss on the cheek? Someone has to come get their wife so he can divorce her because she's definitely for the streets. Bro is absolutely spitting right now and she can't even respond. Maurice says that Mariah is a white man's baby. And Joyce says my baby looks Chinese. That baby Mariah. When it comes to nine month old Mariah, Maurice, you are not. <laughs> Well, she was not happy to hear that one. What did she expect, though? All right, we're looking for the IE's hottest single moms. How many kids do you have? Ooh, none. What the f***? Do you have any kids? No. What do I look like? All the girls out here are single moms. What are you doing out here? And that's embarrassing for them. <laughs> have you ever been on a date, and then after the date, you end up linking up with another guy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why link up with someone else? Wasn't the date, uh, you know, efficient enough or what? It wasn't. That's why I went with someone else. <laughs> Damn, so girls have someone ready to go just in case the date's whack? Girls always have someone ready to go. Hey, you, hear, you hear it here first. <laughs> Men are easy. She might not be a single mother, but she is a single street resident. Women will say they want something, but when they actually get it, they respond negatively to it. I want a nice guy that's going to give me flowers. I want a nice guy that's going to treat me like a princess. And you get that guy, and then you treat him like you maybe you cheat on him, or maybe you find another guy that doesn't give you everything you want. What I've realized is that women don't know what they want in general. They really don't. So as a man, you gotta know what women want and what they respond to. What they say that they want, what they respond to favorably are two different things. Women say they want nice guys, but when they meet a nice guy, they don't they tell them, Oh sorry, I didn't feel a spark. So with all due respect, I don't listen to what women say they want because y'all don't know what you guys want. You don't even know what you want to eat. So <laughs> When you say you want a loyal man, what you're really saying is you want a guy that has the capability to have a bunch of women but still chooses you. And I'm telling you that that's not realistic. Women just love dating a walking paradox. It's actually pretty interesting to think about. <laughs> the home girl. You sure it's a girl? <laughs> I ain't even lying. I, I, don't, I don't lie, man. I ain't never had this much pressure on the first date. But look, this is going to solidify y'all though, you feel me? I bet. Do you want to go to the Instagram DMs? Yeah. You scared? My Instagram? No, her Instagram DMs. You scared to go through hers? No. I bet so here. You want to go through Oh, Lenny. who's this? Lenny Lopez? I'm a photographer. You sure it's a photographer? I know Lenny Lopez. Bro, don't, don't I be, know Lenny. Yo, bro, don't be sticking up for her now. Hey, Lenny Lopez, what's up? It's your boy, Rick Jones, 845. What up? Lenny Lopez, what's up, baby? Who's this? Pee Wee. Who's Pee Wee? I don't even think that's his real name. But you sent him a message 17 minutes ago. What's going on? Why are you on a date? He said, oh, you out here? Because I'm here. And he, he from out here. So absolutely. I say yes. You jogging at? <laughs> I'm jogging at. Are you jogging it? I'm jogging it. I remember that. Wait, I'm over it. <laughs> Who, who's scared? Who's scared? Who's scared? You mad funny. Who? Oh! Bro, 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 bro. She took her phone back. She took her phone back. Because that was a private message. That was a private message? Oh, come on. Dumb her. Please. I'm trying to save your life here. You don't want. Half of all women have a guy on the back burner just in case things go wrong in their current relationship. And I have to sit here and defend all of us women. I was just as shocked reading this data. More than half of women who are married and categorize themselves as happily Wait a married. Sec. They're married. Happily married happily women are doing married. this? Have a backup plan. <laughs> And in most cases, it was either an ex-boyfriend or an old friend who never made it to the dating category. Get out of town. Unfortunately, yes. Problem is, is social media has just made it too easy to have such a type of behavior. How can one say men cheat more than women when the evidence is right here? Is this a committed relationship here? Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, definitely. How? He, he might not make it till next week. Ideas. For you, it's long term. That's right. That's right. That's it. Well, looks like Grandpa is getting some. Once my boyfriend was asleep, so. I... 
All right, I'm finally ready to talk about this. It's been two years of this clip circulating and it's still going viral. If you're not one of the 100 million people who have seen this on the internet in the last two years, let me sum it up for you in a very peaky way. I wanted to cheat on my then boyfriend with my ex. So I had to meet him at the gas station real quick, sneak out of our house, met him at the gas station. He finished inside me and then I went home and I didn't want to get caught. So I just tried to sneak in bed as quick as I could. But when I snuck into bed, it woke up my then boyfriend and then he was in the mood. So then we did it and he went down and then he ate the seed that the other guy planted in. I mean, when you admit to something like this, what else do you even expect? How old are you? 23. What do you do for work? I'm a nurse. For a man to date you, what job should he stay away from? Nursing. You wouldn't date a male nurse? No. Is it because you're a nurse or what? They sleep with other nurses. I mean, it's the same occupation. It is, but that means they're sleeping with your co-workers. You're not telling me all men are like this, though. They are. What makes you feel that way? I work with them currently. You think dating is going to get easier for you as you age? No. Why not? I don't know. They get worse when we get older. Why? They just do. Who's they? Every man. What do you have against men? You all suck. What do we, su what do we suck at, though? I don't know. We can do without you. Like, who hurt you? Uh... I don't know. <laughs> Were you about to say a lot of them? A lot of them. Oh, the internet's gonna love you. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, who hurt this woman so hard that she's hating her own people? She's literally walking with her man. Why would she even look at the other guy? Would you rather be in a relationship where you were being cheated on by, I suppose this is your boyfriend, or an open relationship? I'd rather be in an open relationship. Wasn't it like that at the beginning, babe? When so I shows. found that. That's her answer. Why open relationship? At least that way the rules are clear, no? You do you, I do me. No one could get mad. That's what we decided on. So you started off as an open relationship? I never called it. I never called it. No. No? No open What was it to you in the beginning? Obviously you're talking to someone. You're like, you're talking to someone, you're building that relationship. How did you feel in the beginning? Well, yeah, I mean, I... said it. She felt like an open relationship. You're obviously feeling one, por one person, right? I mean, a girl always has other options. Always. How can you be committed to multiple people and call it love? More like a game. I don't think a, I don't think a woman could come to a man. That's a good point. In a, a boyfriend-girlfriend relationship That's a good and point. say... I'm a great woman. I do all these great things. I have my own car, my own job. I, I, I don't need I your clean. money. I don't need your money. I cook, clean. I keep myself up. But I love you for you, but I love you for I you, can't but stop I, I can't stop fucking you guys. Other men may accept that. I, I, I have never heard of a situation where a man has or would that wants to be in a monogamous relationship. Because I hear a lot about men wanting women to be patient with them, mm -hmm. but I don't hear it the other way around. There's a difference between a man and a woman, and she just doesn't realize it. Oh, no. He's trying to couch in here. No. Oh, no. As he should, let her know it's never okay to cheat. So married couple divorced after discovering that they were having an affair with each other online using fake names. In 2007, a Bosnian, a Bosnian couple divorced after discovering both had an affair with each other using fake names. Sana, 27, and Adan, 32, from Bosnia, had, a, had marital issues, so they were secretly chatting and having an affair online. After time, they both discovered they both decided to meet in person, only to find out it was each other. After a lengthy argument, the couple filed for divorce after being unfaithful. <laughs> in quotes, I thought I found the love of my life. <laughs> the way this Prince of Joy spoke to me, the things he wrote, the tenderness in every expression was something I had never had in my marriage. Raw. The mad thing about that is, why did they only get her side of the story? Why did they only get her, her you, depiction? You know why, yeah. fam. You know exactly why. You know exactly they just why. To, yeah, 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 yeah. They yeah, wanted yeah, to juke yeah. it in. Because men are trash. <laughs> no one's even acknowledging that but she's a she, cheat. She was in there as well. I just have a question. Do they both like pina coladas or are getting caught in the rain? So they cheated on you and got mad at you. Why do some cheaters do that? That is because they have to be angry at you to justify their actions. If they are not angry at you, that means they're
they're going to feel guilty. And if they feel guilty, they have to hold themselves accountable. And if they hold themselves accountable, that means they have to change. And if they change, they're no longer going to get what they want because they're so used to using other people to get what they want. So they have to have that anger against you. That is why before you discovered they were cheating on you, they kept on causing so many fights between the both of you. It's insane how that works. How can you be mad when you're the one that messed things up? I have a question for both of y'all. Y'all both married, right? Mm -hmm. What if y'all wives called y'all right now and said, I'm going to keep it a stack. I wasn't honest with y'all. I actually have like 90 bodies. You ain't got to finish. Wait. Divorce. No, 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 no. What? Because you're no, you no, 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 You're an imposter. That means she's an imposter. How long have y'all been married? If y'all just leave. But she's an imposter. It don't matter. Let's just say 15 years. Right. And this bitch been the truth. And the fact that she's cheating you. You had 300 bodies. The famous. So now you. The famous saying of the soul, bro. No shit. No, you love this is something that should be talked about early in the dating stage. So yes, it's reasonable to leave after this. You think you'll leave her if uh, these aren't yours? Honestly, I don't know what I'll do. I don't know if I can stay around for it. I really don't. Do you know that with fraternal twins, you could be the father of one but not the other? Yes. Yes, I've done a lot of reading. I've done a lot of reading and a lot of looking. But you want to be the father of both? Yes, I do. All right. I want that more than anything in the world. You know, you sleep with two people, and then you find out you're pregnant, and it happens all the time. But what everyone in my audience thinks is unforgivable is that when you found out you were pregnant, you never told him. When it comes to one-month-old Tegan, Chad, you are the father. Yeah. 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 When it comes to one-month-old Peyton, Chad, you are not <laughs> I swear I'm gonna bite all my nails off. These endings just keep on getting to me. JB, the guy you had a one night stand with, denies he's the father. Braylon, the guy you don't think is the father, thinks he's the father. This is the issue. Right. He wanted my pregnant and I did not oh. give it to him. Period. Period. You know why your show's so good and it's gonna be here Period. for another 10 years plus? Period. Why? Because the women Period. like her. Think they Period. savages. Think they Period. savages. Think they you want to play, people. Around. What are you talking about? I never cheated. What's her name? What's her name? Give me one name. When it comes to seven month old Zachariah, Braylon, you are not the father. <laughs> JB, you are the father. <laughs> I feel like that this show even exists in the first place just shows the problem. Why are people arguing about who is the father when it should be known from the start? I look at one paper, I'm single. I look at the next, I'm married. It's crazy. <laughs> so what is it? Well, I'm single. I mean, I'm not married, I'll say that. This kind of thinking might make it harder for you to find someone to marry, and she needs to understand this if she wants to make things easier for herself in the future. So you didn't know that she was in a relationship? No, man, I didn't know she was in a relationship. Okay, so you need to talk to her. I was in a relationship. Listen, if she's you know in a relationship, what? you don't need to talk to her. Just keep her. Keep her. I don't You're want going you. outside. You're going outside. What do you have to do? Why did you you tell him about Because I, I... Because what? I, I don't because know, I what? Man. I what? What? Y'all been together, you said three months? Something like that. Not anymore. No, not anymore. I love how she's the one crying here, like she's the victim in this situation. Real eloquent. Um, I've seen your boyfriend before you. Yeah. Oh. My boyfriend before? Huh? Yeah. Bro. No friends. <laughs> I was with your boyfriend when you was with him. Bro. <laughs> this just went left. <laughs> yes. Damn. You're taking a piss? Like, you've said what you've said. I've said what I've said. Oh, I had a little bit too much to drink in it. When? No. When? When? I'll say this to you in 
Yeah, you're sober. <laughs> I mean, why didn't you tell me it's full? <laughs> I'm going. What's it? I'm going. Oh, yes. Are you taking the piss? Ruined a relationship and a friendship. Good going, miss. Date your friend? No. She has a boyfriend. What so. else now? No, I don't. Julia. Yes, you do. It doesn't matter. You can't do that to him. Why not? You can't cheat on your boyfriend. <laughs> I mean... I won't let her. Come on. You can't cheat on your boyfriend. Why? I won't let her do that to you. Here's a hundred bucks. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Just like a date her. Okay. Okay. <laughs> if she's taking him for a hundred dollars, she's definitely for the streets. I met Noel when I was 13 years old. So this goes way back. During the years that you were married, did you think about Noah? I thought about him time in and time out because yeah. people would mention his name that he's still in love with me and I'm like, after all these years? And Noah reconnected with me on social media. And when I gave him a hug that day, everything, all the feelings just came back from when I was a kid. And all the love feelings I had from him. Did you date him, as children? We did, yeah. yes. But he tells me he never stopped loving me. I ended up ending a long-term marriage to be with to be with Noah. Was it hard to end your marriage? Yes, it was, because yeah. I was tearing apart my family. Yeah. And I did all of this to be with him. It's hard to get over an ex, but if you aren't fully over them, marriage should not be in the question. You are not. She's a runner, she a track star. She gonna run away when it gets hard. She can take the pain, she can get scar. She hurt anyone that get involved. Don't wanna come in while they get this far. She gonna do the race just on this one. Love is a game you should cheer for. When I was done talk, you were here for. Why is she running like she's the victim? Isn't she the one who cheated and tried to convince the man that the baby was his? What are your chances of finding a vacation boyfriend? I have a boyfriend at home. So is this like a girl's trip? Yeah. How do you think he feels about girl's trips? He hates them. Why? I don't know. Yeah. Now, unless someone gets me on my cheek, he was mad. <laughs> How did he find out? Instagram. <laughs> you posted it? By accident, I was drunk. <laughs> Would you let him come here on a boys trip? No. So then why are you here? Because I'm not a cheater. I don't trust guys. You can come here, but he can't. Yeah. Boys encourage other boys to cheat. I don't get encouraged to cheat. I don't know. Seems like a huge case of double standards to me. How does it feel to be a thought, eh? <laughs> Cheating on me? Bro, you can do so much better, trust me. I fucked up that for her, and now this is you? She was just too stunned to speak. Hopefully she'll regret cheating on him. Y'all dating? Yeah. Okay, okay. What would you write me on a scale of 1 through 10? <laughs> oh. I'm a black girl, so I'm gonna give you about a 9. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Oh. Can I get a kiss on the cheek? Sure. <laughs> Something tells me this woman is either thinking about cheating or has already. Is this on your Instagram story? Oh yeah, I can do that. Wait, we kind of look cute together. You think so? Kinda. Should we be together? No! <laughs> yeah. Okay. End the camera. Okay, but I slightly have a man's in Iowa. Huh? Where am I? Where am I? Exactly. Where am I, uh, I think we ain't done yet. I think we ain't doing yet. Want me inside of you? Yeah. It's an evil world we live in. This girl is headed to one place and one place only. That's right, the streets. In this case, we have a man who kicks out his girlfriend after a DNA test proves he's not the father of their son. This is wild, but let me know what you think in the comments below. Does she deserve this? Give me my keys! Give me his damn Give me his Never met? Yes. Ever. How does that happen? It just happened. I guess the connection on Facebook. You met her on, oh, on, met, Facebook. Met her on Facebook? on Facebook, yeah. And I guess the connection, the bonding that we talked about, I just, we hit it off and we've been okay. engaged. So you've only seen pictures yeah, of her? Yeah, she's only sent me a few pictures on Facebook. Oh, and, and my producer it. just says we have, oh, that's her. Yep. yep, that's her. That's her. So, and you've never spoken to her on the phone? Nope. 
Not at all. Just pictures. So this is the first time you will have ever met her. Yep. This is really crazy. Here's Kimberly. This might be the most insane catfish reveal I've ever seen. This is why you shouldn't trust everyone you meet online. What the f babe? Like I said, I've been faithful. I don't get this. I really don't understand this. Why you do this to me? And just act like you don't care. I care. But you're sitting there rolling your eyes and just nodding your head, not saying nothing to me. I don't know what to say. I don't. I So you literally have no excuse at all on why you cheated on me. She is only sorry because she got caught. If she truly was sorry, she wouldn't have done it in the first place. It's wrong to cheat. Oh yeah, it's wrong to cheat. But yeah. then you cheat. I cheat to save my relationship. That's the only reason why I cheat. So I don't care what nobody thinks. You cheat to save the relationship. Yes, I'm that confident, Steve. Yes, I cheat to save my relationship because if I can show you that I'm doing it, you should be able to tell me you're doing it. Right. So not only do you cheat, you videotape it. Yeah, I videotaped it. And then you send it to a key. Yeah, I send it to him. What's his reaction? <laughs> you took a lie detector test? No, I ain't taking no lie detector no. test because I got video what I'm lying for. <laughs> If she meant to ruin a relationship by cheating, she's correct. Fixing a relationship, cheating is the last thing you want to do. You slept with my best friend? Yes, I was thinking about you the whole time. I wanted you to be there. My best friend, but yeah, she was yeah. thinking about you. I need you to change your priorities. I don't... My priorities? I, my priorities is working to provide for you and your son. But the things you is that not? Is that on. not enough? I know you do, and I know I asked get, you to. Give me the ring back. I don't want to. I want to be with you. I love you. This, this is the second time you've done this. This is how you repay me? By sleeping with my best friend? I'm sorry. Who, who is that best friend? Why is she crying? It was her choice to sleep with his best friend. Should have thought about this way earlier. I cheat all the time. Are you a cheater? Yeah. <laughs> uh, repetitively, unfortunately. I get bored. Uh, it's not that the partner's not good enough, it's that I'm bored. Mm -hmm. I constantly want new things. I am like constantly on the lookout for like something that's gonna just spark me. Yeah, but doesn't that mean that you just don't like the guy? Shouldn't you just break up with him then? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But I don't because you know what? I'm at least getting somewhere. But then the and other I person kinda, gets uh, Sometimes I do on. have feelings. Yeah, yeah. But this is this is the thing. They'll never find out that they're being cheated on. I'll just break up with them. No, I'm dead serious. They'll never find out. You just said so you'll cheat and then break up. Yeah, but you could just broke up and then just and then just whatever you want. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But the cheating is like it's a fantasy. So it's like, uh, this is exciting for me to cheating. cheat. Because it's actually cheating. If I break up with him and then I someone, it's just a rebound. No, I mean, I get it. I get Nala. it. You should get it. I mean, most Nala. people cheat. Everybody. Yes, I think a, Reg. I think a lot of people Christ. cheat. Jesus Christ. Just break up with something mean. Just break up with the dude. Yeah. What? That's not mean. That's not mean. How is it mean <laughs> that they never find out about it? Oh, I think I need therapy after watching this video because it made me extremely depressed. You remember her telling you she was pregnant? Yes, I do. And okay. also, I also remember her saying somebody else, somebody else telling me that somebody else was the father too at the time. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah. The uh, doubts didn't just come. The doubts came because other people was involved. So in other words, you weren't the only person she was seeing? No, not at all. It's like McDonald's, man. You drive through. <laughs>
think I came back. I just want the results. Yeah, because I will go back to the drive through versus right. going back there. <laughs> Gosh. This clip was sponsored by every fast food in America, because just like women like her, it's unhealthy, but you will come back for more. I'm making a scene because you're in a car with another I was really After I tried riding to come the to the gym, which it don't matter, riding in the car, sitting in the car, being in the car, you in the car with another that's what I'm saying. Okay, so I'm basically, all this is a loyalty says. We was watching you the whole time. Ever since you was in the gym, he came to you and approached you. We I, knew everything that was it. happening. He put you on a loyalty <laughs> test. So. I hollered at him when he, before he hopped in the car. Should be proud of you that yes. you hopped in the car with another nigga. Yes. I'm proud of myself that I found out that you love. Bro, don't play with me. Bro. Stop following me. No, it ain't no stop following stop, me. Hey, take this girl day, home, bro. At the end of the day, don't stop playing with me. Take her home. Take her home. Hey, don't play with me. So, man, hey, let you see me in the car with another female. I don't give a, a Honda Civic. You gonna have an issue. So I got a but big issue. Day, your goofy. Yeah. All right, bro. And look, I, not even on no groupy. Sh I'm hopping in with bro. This was just the car I used to show you what it was, or so I could see what it was with you. At we up out of here. I'm gonna go hop in. At the end of the day, you really find you a way home. Really Not even a way home. Find you a way back to Louisiana. Man. It's just insane to me how the women get mad after they are caught cheating. Like, take some responsibility for your own actions for once. Ryan's like this, dude. For six months, I've been with you for you to prove yourself to me. You've worked two jobs. When you aren't working, you're out with your scrubby ass boys playing pool. So I am here to tell you today that I'm cheating on you. Oh. No, no, I don't. What are you gonna do? You ain't man enough. Why are you no, cheating on me? She's using cheating as some sort of punishment. Little does she know he's gonna get his revenge by living his best life. Go first, raise your hand. <laughs> You're going first. I felt it. I felt it. You're going first. Listen, listen. Do you feel a man should feel privileged and special to talk to you as a woman? Because you could honestly be talking to the 25 other niggas that's in your inbox. You know what yes. I said? Do you as a female feel like if any that's talking to you, he should feel privileged because you could be talking to the other 25 that's in your inbox? It's like 57, but um, oh, damn. I absolutely wow. do feel like he should feel privileged. But in the same token, whoever I choose to talk to, I hope that they know that I'm also privileged to be in their presence and share time with them and all that. Okay, like that. okay, okay. She wants a man to fall for her, but doesn't give anything in return. <gasps> what the f Yup, this could cause lots of trauma that can be passed on through generations. When your guy friend catches his girlfriend cheating at a Halloween party. <laughs> He's just like, That's my girl, bro. <laughs> That's my girl, bro. What you doing, dog? That's my girl, bro. <laughs> Whoa, you cheated, bro? You're supposed to scare your significant other on Halloween, not cheat on them. We all been together. Three years. You guys know each other's body count? Yeah. What's yours? One. Is that correct? Yeah. Are you sure it's one? Yeah. Only him? Yeah. You don't know how many boyfriends you had? No. Yeah. No. <laughs> what the hell? It's over 10. You I don't go, know. Okay. Yeah. We're getting ma married. There's no secrets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Surely thought she'd get away with this after being filmed on camera just hours earlier. You bold. So she drove my car to your to your house for real, bro? All the way to Colleen. Yeah. Wow. wow. Why would you do that? Why would you drive about, my car? About twice so far. Hold on, what? Yeah, about twice. She drove my car twice? Yeah. I don't know if you seen my, my, my phone in the Bluetooth. That ABM Ali shit. That much. Huh? I said I connected my phone to Bluetooth and everything. That ABM Ali. Why is she sitting there acting all in shock? She knows exactly what she did wrong. How long have you guys been dating for? Six months. Six months, six months, right? The girlfriend couldn't have made it any more sus. She knew she was gonna get caught from the beginning. Husband serves wife with divorce papers at work after finding out she's been cheating. That's about it. I've got some furniture. 
I met a, I met some friend yesterday. Yeah? Yeah. Can I go back? I'm, no, I'm good. I met her. She's really cool. Her name's Sarah Engel. Yeah. Yeah? I met her too. Yeah. She's been dating Dave Gray for seven years. What do you think I got? What do you think message I got? Oh, I'm sure she told you that we were yeah, sitting together. Uh, we that's what I heard. We went out uh, to the bed and talking. Don't walk, but I Fully dressed. Nothing to it. Nothing. 100%. Okay. She can tell you what she wants. We're both unhappy and we were both talking about it. That's all. I got a message saying that she found you two in bed together. Yeah, we dressed talking. It's not, that's not okay. Yeah, cool. Like, I just want you to sign this so I can go on with my life. Well, I'd and like I can... to read it properly, so I'm gonna There you go. There's no way they were sharing the bed fully clothed. I'm happy this man gets to have a second chance at finding love because this woman was not it. He says Elijah, she could be one of, uh, of three guys could be the father. Do yeah, you know that? I don't know who his daddy is. How could he be daddy? Well, who daddy is it, peanut butter? I'm right here. You call her peanut butter? Easy to s***. <laughs> <laughs> When it comes to four-year-old Landon. You are not the father. Walter, you are the yeah! father. Yeah! 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 This got to be wrong, Lori. Lori, something got to be wrong. Selena, you, you've been on this show nine times. It's the first time you've heard you are the father and you don't like it? And he's not! This is the first. Usually it's the other way around, but now you have a man who wants to stand up and be the father, but you don't want him? That's your loss. A lot of times he was with her. Because I can't seem to get straight answers. And so as a man, I don't want to talk to you. Yeah. You know saying just as a man, I don't want to take it to another level. If you love her, and you really do love her, and she loves you. She says he doesn't. She can say one thing, but her actions another. Because when I'm at home with my kids, right. or maybe his kid, right. or you know what I'm well, saying? Let, let Cortez answer. What? Do you love her? No. When was, was the last time, time you was with her? When the last time? Be honest, man. Be honest. Yeah. Cause it's gonna tell. Wait, wait. When was the last time he was with her? Yeah. Let her answer that. You I said can't, last can't, what'd you say? Asked him to ask me, ask him. I'm asking you too. She told me last year. No. That's the last time. That's the last time. This morning, before we come here. It's clear that nothing good will come out of this. Stay loyal or leave. Never cheat. You guys have made it to the end. Like and subscribe to prove you're an alpha. And remember, according to YouTube, the best way to help the channel and the algorithm is to watch another one of my videos right after this video. So if you like this video, you should watch another one. Till next time.